hi all so welcome to the today's tutorial uh, it is the starting of uh, 3d pool game so we will use preview one yesterday only unreal has released this version so we will use that and today we will see how uh, how what should be the architecture of your project which shoulders we should make where we should keep our files in which folder it is really really important next thing is naming convention it is really important to follow a standard naming convention in the project so in future let's imagine someone joins in with the team so uh, the standard has to be maintained so you will learn that and uh, we will import some uh, assets today which uh, i will provide a link in the description so let's start press launch uh, press launch in preview one yesterday uh, i have installed it it's like 18 gb long so it's too uh too big let's see how is it i haven't tested it out yet let's see how it will look let's go to the game blank and the blueprint why blueprint uh, we will convert it uh, in c++ later because if you will click on c++ it will give you some default classes which i don't want so I'm just keeping it the blueprint and we will start from basics only. I don't want any starter content. So I'm just keeping it false uh, and everything is, uh, I will keep it as default. Like pool 3D, 3D, I'll name and create, press on create. So in the meantime, uh, it is developing the project. Uh, I will give you the link for the discord or the my groups where you can ask me the question if you uh, encounter some errors so you can ask me there so this is the default level i think uh, this is uh, something new they have added it was not before so right now first thing uh, which i will do i will just convert this blueprint into a c++ project you just go to the tools new c++ class after adding this class you will uh, get the compile button so it will automatically convert so First thing uh, I want to create is the game mode. Okay. Do I need anything else? No. Just create next. Next, uh, I'll uh, create this game mode class under the core because I usually uh, put core. Uh, let me show you a link. I will. Uh, you can just go to this link where it will. It shows the uh, hierarchy. I usually use this uh, guide it is really good guide so under core we will keep game modes uh, controllers and different type of classes which are really core of the project we can have effects maps so we will create the different directories just to follow along okay so I'm just putting the core and for the naming convention what I usually do uh, for the C++ classes uh, it will all start with C underscore so uh, with the c underscore you will get in the blueprint also you will not get confused okay c underscore uh, means the c++ class m is my initial so i usually put m you can have uh, your own so it is game mode so this is the initial and the game mode this create class and it, it will just do some compiling and change from blueprint to c++ this create uh, click yes and it will open the Visual Studio. The first error <laughs> which you will uh, obviously encounter inside the CPP, just delete the folder. I don't know. It sends four point uh, x x. Uh, we are just getting the same error. So just you have to delete the uh, folder hierarchy from start. You just have to keep the dot h file inside the CPP folder. It is a default class which you will see because we have created the game mode. Just delete the folder name from the start and uh, shortcut is control shift b to compile the uh, project or you can just go up in the build okay and you can just click on build solution and it will compile the code so compilation is started see it is giving us the same error like we have uh, core and core then c underscore m game mode but we have deleted this in control s just to save the file and again try control shift v is a shortcut 
I don't know why it is giving the error. Okay, uh, let's try to compile it from here, but it won't show. Let me close it first, then we can try again. This is the uh, issue when we uh, try to convert some project, right? Just go to the library, uh, pool 3D, show in folder. Again, open this. Okay, so I just restarted my project. Just control shift B just to try it again. And this time it is succeeded. So if anything happens and you have removed the directory and it's still uh, it is giving the error for the directory, just uh, close the project and open it again. Okay, now we are good to go. Open the Unreal Pen. Okay, so we are in Unreal now. So the next thing which we do, uh, we will just import some project, but before that we will create some folders. So you just click, uh, just control shift N, go, control shift again, again, blueprint, control shift N again, assets. And uh, okay, right now, so blueprint is for blue. Uh, I usually set color, so I can just define them. Let me do that quickly. You can do the same for assets. I usually use the, silvery type something silver okay okay so this should just to open the shortcut uh, content draw just click control space and it will open up okay uh, for the code it will be like dark blue we do have sorry silver here yeah, lightish yes. so this is i usually do uh, you can have your own color convention but it's, it is really good uh, it is really quick just to navigate them uh, so under the assets I will make mesh static mesh meshes okay I think it will be yes if not uh, just pardon my English okay so I will just put the link in the description but under the pool you can see these are the two FPX uh, which you can import just import them okay everything seems fine just click import all Uh, so I've, we have finished importing uh, just click cross okay uh, let me dock I usually prefer it this way so okay so for the ball I don't want to have any materials uh, okay so first I, what I will do under the sets only I will create one more folder called materials materials okay so the static mesh I, I will just shift all the materials to materials move here right now I'm just organizing the thing so we don't have to uh, search the content from here and there because uh, if you will not uh, make it a habit it will mess your project in really really bad manner this is very small project but if you will work on some something high end then uh, it will mess the things up so just make sure you are doing this so for the pool I will just make some folder as uh, we have four components so pool table perfect okay perfect one more folder we have to make uh, called textures we don't have textures yet but we will add afterwards so okay okay we have really uh, large map but we don't need something like that so just new level I just want basic one just create uh, I will just delete the whole uh, lighting thing because I don't want don't want skylight direction light everything is gone Press L and click left mouse button just to create the point light. Okay, do I need anything else? 
I need the reflection sphere which is kind of good and I have the flow okay right now this is perfect let's try to uh, drag our pool table here so what we will do just go to the static mesh pool table select the whole area and drag it like that this is kind of small and uh, materials are also not there uh, but we will uh, see we will look into it how we will resolve that but for now it is okay and it is kind of small so i will just small uh, like scale the things up just make sure just uh, to turn this lock on and 2.5 i guess yep it seems okay it seems fine let me drag it up okay perfect or uh, i think just 2.2 will be good and uh, i will put it inside a folder called pull table just to organize the things up i don't want ssi fog 2 just delete it play start i don't want okay perfect now the thing is i also don't want the point light but uh, for the light sake i just imported this one just go to the windows play sector and we will put some uh, spotlight delete it i'll like pull it up press alt and we will just copy something and okay again press alt uh, with pressing uh, the alt mouse button and when you will uh, move then it will create some copies okay so it is looking little better and i will uh, slightly change the light color i just want something yellow little yellow and it will be good okay perfect and i will save the map so just control shift n okay control shift n okay perfect call map and uh, for map i usually use the yellow button uh, sorry yellow color so just content just let me drag it here perfect inside the map and i will give it color it is all uh, already yellowish but yes this color i usually keep it in the map so this is for the hierarchy like you should use uh, we usually use in our studio we usually uh, use this type of conventions and it is really really beneficial even if you are working in large team uh, it is very beneficial because you can uh, look the content at a specific location even if new joinee comes in uh, you can uh, give him the standard size uh, standard guide and he will follow that standard so even if someone is going and someone is coming uh, the standard will remain the same and you don't have to care about anything okay uh, next thing is just press g just to look everything looks okay okay it is looking good next thing the materials okay let's drag in some materials so inside the asset textures let me import some materials into the pool for the flow first let me drag the whole folder Control S and for the pocket protection, drag it up. Perfect. It's Control Save. I'm just saving all the textures so we don't get some problem. And the pocket, we're good. Wood texture, good. Okay, so we have imported everything which we need. Uh, so we'll start with the uh, with the flow first. Uh, I think I should stop this tutorial right now uh, or we should continue I don't know okay uh, so let's create the material first then we'll go forth okay mm. okay I guess uh, we'll stop right here because it is already 15 I was just targeting uh, to wrap this video under 15 minutes and uh, we will 
see you in the next tutorials if you want anything uh, specific topic uh, to cover on just ping me below and uh, i will see to it you can get all the assets in the link attached below if you have any doubts you can comment me below please like and subscribe thank you take care